Yo, Tom, I got this awesome chatbot demo to show you. I'm showing the chatbot demo to all of my clients and yours too. Show me the money. Today, I'm going to show you how to create multiple chatbots and deploy multiple client demos to close more deals. Let's do it. All right, first things first, head over to chatgptbuilder.io. Log in or sign up for a free trial. You're going to have to choose what channel that you want to start with. For this, you're going to want to choose web chat. Name your chatbot something like demo chatbot. You can change that name later. Next, we're going to need to understand what potential clients to send the chatbot to. So we're going to head on over to Google and we're going to just search for some common businesses here. We're going to search for plumbers in Savannah or your city, the city that you want to try to target. And what I like to do is try to find one that's got a lot of reviews. So we can just choose Roto Rooters of Savannah. So the old pink house has a ton of reviews. Let's go ahead and go to their website next. Let's also do one more. Let's do a barber shop in Savannah and let's choose this one, the barber pole. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna command A. I'm on a Mac, this selects all the text on the homepage. I'm gonna hit Command C, and then I'm gonna pop over to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna say, summarize the following text from a web page and extract information like who, what, when, where, why. For example, we want the business name, the business URL, the phone number, contact information, services. Essentially, we're gonna take this text summarize it and make it a knowledge base for a chatbot. What I'll do now is I'll add a colon and I'll hit command V and we're gonna paste in all that information from the home page, and we should get a nice consolidated summary here. Here we go, it's doing its thing. All right, and so to keep things organized, we are gonna create a sheet demo prompts, client name prompt. And I've got two columns so far, client named and prompt details roto router and then we will paste in the details and boom we've got our first knowledge base ready to rock so okay here we've got the menu and it is a <laughs> so it's actually an image they've screenshotted their their menu here that's okay though you're not going to stop us from getting this data that we need baby we're going to just make this a little bit more a um, couple more steps I think I've got all the images here. So I'll just go to my downloads, open everything up, and we can extract all of this text. All right, so I'm gonna copy the text from all of these menus here, and I'm gonna dump in straight into ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, um, format the following menu into concise text that I can use, make it as concise as possible so that I can use this for a knowledge base for my chatbot demo. Be sure to be accurate and include all menu items and their prices. All right, so then we'll have our colon paste in there and we're just gonna dump all the raw data right in there. And guys, to me, it just is insane how well ChatGPT can handle this sort of raw text. Extracting menu items manually is such a tedious task. And I'll be honest, ChatGPT just does it so much better. All right, so now I've got my information here. I'm gonna, again, copy this. And I'm gonna just throw it right into the Google Sheet. So paste here, and this is the old pink house. And let's do one more we said, let's find barber shop. Now create one more knowledge base for this barber shop in the exact same way you've been doing it before. And this place was called the barber pole, the barber pole. Let's just paste the info here, boom, done. All right, so now we are all set. We're gonna go back into our ChatGPT Builder account now. Click on Settings and Integrations and click on OpenAI. Now notice we've got the default reply turned on here. For what we're gonna do, this will not work. You're gonna to need to turn this off. This is just the fastest and easiest way to create a super smart, intelligent chatbot for your business or your client, individual client. If we want to use an account for demo purposes, this has got to be turned off, and we are going to create a different, more advanced default reply, and we're going to set that here in the general tab, but first we need to create it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a welcome message 
for each of these different demos. So let's go ahead and edit the current welcome message that we've started with. And it's gonna say, hi, welcome to page name, how can we help? Because this page is called demo page, we don't want that. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, um, hi, welcome to Roto Rooter of Savannah. How can we help? Hello there, welcome to Roto Rooter of Savannah. How can we help? We've gotta have one more thing here to make this work. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click and hold the continue bubble and drag open a new line and let go. This will open up the working pane. We're gonna click add content, actions, add a tag. And we're gonna call this tag, we'll call this tag RR for Roto Rooter. So we've just got one welcome message and we've got a tag here. Let's hit publish. What we can do now is let's duplicate what we just made and rename this. And we'll use this welcome message for Pink House. All right, Roto-Rooter and Pink House. Let's edit the Pink House to make sure that we call it the correct name here in the welcome message. Welcome to the old Pink House in Savannah. How can we help? And so we're gonna go here to the tag we've got. This is gonna be Pink House. All right, cool. So the second one is now done. Now let's make the third and final where we'll duplicate and this will be renamed to be Barber. Continue. All right, cool. So now we've got our three welcome messages. Now what we need to do is create our three default replies. Click add and we'll have a uh, default reply for Roto Rooter. Okay, and this is gonna be the simplest thing, guys. Remember, we've got a super easy way to handle this in the settings section in the integrations tab when you click open AI. If you're just dealing with one brand, one business, one concept, you can drop your default reply there, boom, done. If you need something more complex or you want to offer what I'd call a better user experience by having quick replies presented after the, and in that case, you can instead use this method, which is a little bit more advanced, a couple more steps, but still very easy to do. All we're gonna do is click this block, click add content, actions, OpenAI. What this is gonna do is gonna call the API of OpenAI for you. We're gonna click the action. We see that we're gonna generate text. We're using the model 3.5 turbo. Here's where it gets fun. Business information, you are a helpful assistant. So here, we're going to go ahead and grab the prompt for Roto Rooters. Copy, paste it right in. Right, so we've got all of the information here and we're gonna give it a prompt and it's gonna be something like respond to the customer's message to you in a friendly tone to assist them with their inquiry as the helpful assistant for Roto Rooter. The last message you received was, and this is where it gets important, we're gonna use a custom field. So click this icon and type L-A-S-T for last. And we're gonna go for last text input. We can put that in quotation marks to be extra sure that OpenAI understands this is the last message that we received. I think that should be pretty solid. We've got the information here. We've got the input text, the prompt that we want. We've got the input text here. Give some guidance to the conversation. We can choose to remember the conversation or not. In this case, because I'm doing a demo with multiple chatbots, I'm just gonna say no. We're not gonna remember the conversation. Save the response to a custom field. This is required. And so you're not gonna have a custom field yet. You'll need to add a new one. So you click add new and we'll call this um, AI response. All right, continue. And so the temperature is gonna be the randomness. The higher you bring that temperature up to 0.9, the more random, AKA the less it's gonna listen to you, your chatbot's gonna be. If your chatbot is not working as expected, this is one of the culprits, too high of a temperature can cause some problems. Max number of tokens. Um, this is gonna be a restrictive measure that you can put into place to limit the amount of tokens. Mind you, this does not limit the actual text that is being outputted. And that actually reminds me, there's one thing I did forget. What we wanna do is we do wanna tell the chatbot how we expect the chatbot to answer as far as length goes. So we'll just say something like, important, always make sure you never respond in more than two short, concise, friendly sentences. And that'll solve that. All right, so I think Roto-Rooter of Savannah is pretty solid. So we can just hit continue. 
And now we've saved that text that OpenAI has generated into that custom field. All that's left to do, and this is very important, let's add a text block that includes that custom field that we made because this AI response is gonna contain that text from OpenAI. So this in general is all you would need to do, but remember we're working with multiple demos here. This one is rocking and rolling. Let's hit publish and let's hit duplicate. We'll go back to our flows. And so now let's work on the pink house default reply, pink house. And so again, we've made this easy on ourselves. So all we need to do is go over here to the pink house, copy all that information, pop into OpenAI, and replace Roto Rooter's information with our own. All right, so we've got all the info here, the old pink house menu, the old pink house address, phone number, blah, blah, blah. All right, so respond to the last messages as a helpful assistant for, and we're gonna just make sure we name this the old pink house. All right, so this one is gonna be done. We can keep this same custom field, that's no problem, and we're not gonna remember the conversation. Click continue and hit publish, and this one's done. So now let's duplicate this one more time, and we've got our last demo, and this one's for the barber. So let's go ahead and change this to barber. You've guessed it, we're just gonna go over here, grab the prompt that we've generated, and replace. And this, the barber poem, continue publish. All right, so let's recap. We've got a default reply for the barbershop, pink house, and Roto-Rooter. We've also got a welcome message for the barber, pink house, and Roto-Rooter. There's one last thing that we need, and that's going to be a master default. Master default reply. And the idea here is we're going to start off with the condition block. And so the condition is going to be the first part of our flow here. So we're going to hover our mouse over the play button to make this the starting step. Click the condition block and click condition. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we'll click on tags and we're going to find the first tag we're looking for, which can be barber. Let's click save. And now we're going to check for a new condition. Does the user match the condition? We're going to click condition here, tag again, and we're going to choose pink house. Okay. And then one more time, and we're going to search for RR. Great. So now we've got our condition all set up and ready to go. Next, we'll just make sure that we connect the correct tag with the correct flow based on the tag that they've been tagged with from the welcome message. All we need to do is hit this plus sign here at the bottom and click start flow. And so if someone is tagged with Barber, they're going to come over here. We'll click on the block to select the flow that we want them to see. And we see here is the barber default reply. All right, we're going to do the same thing with pink house. We're going to just connect the flow and then choose the flow default pink house. And then finally, we'll do this one last time. Start flow, connect roto router to the roto router default reply. And we're done. Beautiful easy enough. Let's hit publish. The last step that we've got to do here is we're going to just select this master default reply as our default reply. So here we go. Save. And that's it. It's that easy. Let's test it out. Let's click over to flows. And if we were going to send a link for the plumber to try out, this is what you would do. You would go ahead and grab the welcome message link from Roto router. We're going to get that link copy it, paste it, send it in an email, send it through a text message, whatever, and boom. Hello there, welcome to Roto Rooters of Savannah. How can we help? So we can just say, hey, what's your address? I also need your phone number. And let's see how fast we get this response. Boom, our address, perfect. Our phone number, perfect. That's what I'm talking about, guys. All right, let's try the next one. So in this case, if we were gonna send that link to the barbershop, we'll find the welcome message click the three dots, get the link. We've only connected to web chat. So that's our only option. Copy and we can paste that link. Boom. And so we see the previous conversation. If we don't want to see that super easy fix, we're just going to append to the end of the URL, the and sign and LC load content equals zero. And so now I just hit refresh and we're only going to see that message that we want to see. 
Welcome to the Barber Poll in Savannah. How can we help? How much is a men's haircut? Dear customer, thanks for reaching out to the Barber Poll. The price for a men's haircut is $25. Now check this out, guys. It says, Dear customer, best regards. It's like writing us in a letter style format or email style format. So we need to fix that. Very easy to fix. Let's head over to that default reply. Click inside. And remember, we, we kind of fixed this on the old pink house side of things. So we said to just respond in one or two lines. We'll do the same thing, except we'll add a little pizzazz here. Let's say, be sure to respond in only one helpful response in one sentence or less, but try to end each sentence with a funny joke related to awesome haircuts and how it allows you to get more girlfriends. Totally not what you want to do in, in many cases, but it was the first thing that popped in my head. I hope it's going to be funny. Let's try it out. Let's hit continue and let's hit publish. Let's try that again. How much is a men's haircut? A men's haircut at the barber pole is priced at $25. Looking sharp with a fresh haircut is like having a secret weapon to attract more girlfriends. It's a cut above the rest. I tell you what, that's, that's, that's some um, branding right there. Maybe we'd say, all right, so let's try the last chatbot here. And thank you guys so much, all of you all around the world for requesting this. So many of you have requested it. I had to make one, had to make it a good one. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We're going to try the pink house last, the restaurant here. Click the three dots, grab the link, copy that link right over, and boom. We should say hello from the pink house. Remember, if we don't want to see any of these, this prior conversation, no problem. We're just going to type at the end of the web chat URL, the and symbol, LC for load content equals zero and enter. So now all that stuff will go away. Let's say, yo, pink house, do you recommend anything on your lunch menu as far as a shareable appetizer with some kick? I'd like a little bit of spice. What do you recommend? And let's send it. And what are we going to get? Bam, absolutely. For a shareable appetizer with a bit of spice, I highly recommend our mac and cheese jalapeno poppers. Let's try this. That sounds awesome. My wife is gluten free. What do you recommend for a vegetarian? She's not really gluten free or a vegetarian. But for a vegetarian option, I would recommend the veggie burger made from black beans and topped with avocado and feta cheese. Okay, cool. Well, how much are those? Don't you like that question, servers and bartenders out there? <laughs> and the uh, jalapeno poppers are ten ninety five. Um, let's see. I don't know, bro. I'm feeling more like barbecue. You guys got anything that could quench my appetite for some delicious, tasty barbecue? And what do we have? Our pulled barbecue sliders are a perfect choice, featuring tender pulled pork and a unique cheer wine barbecue sauce. Holy smokes. And we see that right there and the price. That, my friends, is how you make an amazing, mind-blowing chatbot demo for multiple clients with just one account. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know the next thing you need to see and I will make that video for you. And thank you guys so much for the support. And if you have any questions, as always, let us know. Have a great day.